the game thinks that he's got five bionic spines uh when he's obviously only got three <laughs> which is still two more than he should have <laughs> hey hey john john moo moo john 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 are you awake moo moo john you're a human being john you can talk john please <laughs> please john you're tearing this family apart moo moo i've lo i've lost control i've lo i have lost control of this series hello rim rims and other dark holes filled with an abundance of wood just so much wood an unbelievable amount actually welcome to formaldehyde town population oh, 1473 well, it's the score, not the po population of 95 plus uh, nine people. And by people, I mean moths and minotaurs. I may not have recorded the half an episode already, which took me <laughs> hours. And then I realized that my USB cable had uh, come loose on the back of my audio mixer. So it sounded like I was talking to you from a 1950s radio. I have loaded back as far as I could, but we've still done some things that we hadn't at the end of yesterday. But my fairly lofty, overly ambitious, and inevitably disappointing goal for today is to collect every single Joris. I'm going to achieve that by the medium of achieving that. And by that, I mean other things entirely. For 25 points, we can spawn in a Joris. And chances are it's a Joris we've already gotten, and it'll be a <laughs> complete waste of time. In for a pound will give us 50 points. That's a colony wealth of 1 million. I want to go for this because predominantly, A, we've already got 700,000 wealth. So it's not exactly that much further over the line. And there are two other achievements that tie into it pretty nicely that we could crack out actually fairly fast. Have 5,000 gold is one of them for the Midas achievement, giving us another 50 points. 420 blaze, it gives us 25 points for having 420 smoke leaf. Both of those would contribute to colony wealth, so we can kind of kill three birds with one stone, and by one stone I mean 5,000 stones, and by stone I mean gold. And by stone I mean stoned. Because of smoke leaf. Oh. Might also have heat stroke, because oh, I've already recorded the large chunk of an episode, and this room is very warm. It's so warm. And then I thought to myself, as I am wont to do, why don't we build a rabbit terminator? So in the achievements, there is a 50 point achievement for having a single pawn with bionic legs, arms, spine, ears, and eyes. But of everybody useful, Catala is the only one that really doesn't have any upgrades that aren't related to these horrible out of control mutations. But given that Catala has 20 plant skill and is essentially single handedly keeping this colony fed, I think they are the most sensible person to upgrade. Having furry hoof hands doesn't really contribute to planting smoke leaf fast. All of those barnics are queued up and ready to be made because that's how it works. <clears throat> <laughs> then there are also achievements for every single subset of research, starting with Neolithic, going to Medieval, Industrial and Spacer. Archotech doesn't matter. If we research every single research within those categories, we get achievements for researching the research research. Only problem is this is quite a sizable mod pack. I've queued up all of the Neolithic research and that's taking us up to 18 research. Uh, the Neolithic and Medieval aren't too bad. When we get to Industrial Era, that's going to take quite a long time. Spacer, we've actually done a, a huge amount of already. And that's something we can do in the background while we plant a copious amount of drugs, mine a copious amount of gold and turn a rabbit into a Terminator. Any questions? Also, we've got a we got to kill these mechanoids. To be honest, we should really do that first because the uh, circumference of the death circle has just encroached on my heel route. Then I queued up charge sniper rifles for a reason. I don't entirely remember. Oh, right, because we've lost a bunch of charge weapons. I don't know where they've gone. They've disappeared. One caught fire because the dragon lit it on fire. Uh, some have just been lost. You know how Brimwad is. You lose all your valuable possessions. So I made two charge sniper rifles. I was considering charge chances. Charge chances do like... They have like 77% accuracy in 30 range, whereas the charge sniper rifle has 95% accuracy in 40 range. Except I don't know anything about Rimworld, so I've probably just made all that up. And I think that just about covers it. I don't think I ever talked about it at the time, but I tiered the mine because... Well, I mean, that's just a sensible thing to do, isn't it? So we mine 500 uranium to make sure we keep the lights on. Then we get a base amount of plastic, steel, steel, gold. Then we go for a higher level of... Uh, it's supposed to be a higher level. Uh... Uh, well, that's a little bit too much. There you go. Roughly something like that. We go for a higher level of uranium, a higher level of plastic, a higher level of steel. So we've got kind of a buffer if there is nothing else for the person working the mine to do. Then we're going to go all in on the gold. But to be honest, I might just take that one away because we've got a ridiculous amount of gold already. And I might say don't worry about the uranium so much because we're not using that for anything besides topping up the reactor. And we can always, if things get into kind of an emergency situation, we can always just go for more uranium anyway. Who is our miner? It would be Stegober. Of course, it would be the man who was formerly a Stegosaurus. Why the hell didn't I think of that? <laughs> it's harvest 
420 smoke leaf, right? And each smoke leaf makes what? Don't tell me. Wait, like 10? Well, it depends on the difficulty, right? So let's assume 10 is the standard. We're playing on rough. Are we playing on rough? Might be savage. I don't remember. Uh, let's take a look. Savage. So 95%. So we're getting nine. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, 420 divided by nine is what? Like 45-ish? 46 point something? I don't know. Uh, so I'll assume that that is... Well, that's actually like really easy. Oh, yeah. We can get it in like just like these couple of rows here. Yeah. Okay, fine. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, I guess it's going right into a bat. Oh, no, 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 no. Hang on. There's an achievement for getting a gigantolope, I think. I think I remember reading that because I went through them all before I started recording because, believe it or not, I do sometimes plan these things. Uh, alpha animals. That's animal animals. Alpha animals. That's alpha animals. I think there's an achievement for getting one of these with a... Acquired a gigantolope with a legendary carry capacity is 15. That's like a third of a Joris. No, that's like two thirds of a... Sometimes I think I'm good at maths. And then other times I'm, I, I, I wonder how I even got through my GCSEs. Either way, look, this one's going in the tank until we find a better one, at which point it'll be liquefied and turned into chem fuel, because that's the humane thing to do. Now, in hindsight, if we need to make a Terminator, or a man who formerly was a Stegosaurus being given these upgrades would be kind of handy, given that he also has to single-handedly mine 5,000 gold, which I've been informed is quite a lot of gold. Why not both? Why not both? Why limit it to the rabbit lady when we can go for the previously Stegosaurus man as well? And after we've got the achievement, we're going to undergo a, a harrowing surgery to pull them all out, upgrade them, and then plug them back in. I will start off by making probably everybody a spine. We need a mod. Modders, if you're listening, we need a mod. <laughs> Modders, listen to me right now. We need a mod that lets you count as equipped, but in fact, it is body parts on your people, which is horribly convoluted. That way I can say make... X where X is one and equal to the amount of people who don't have a spine. Otherwise, I have to spend about two seconds going like this and counting up who doesn't have a spine yet. And that's two seconds I quite frankly don't have. My God, we're getting overrun. I don't think we've got a silt strider, do we? Oh, you watch this first time, you moron. Fine, go for, go for the next one. Go for the next one. We'll just get an event, just cycle through them. Here we go. First time. Fucking Martinius. Here we go. Here it is. First time. Yeah, there we go. Wow, I couldn't believe it. First time as well. It lived happily ever after. <laughs> Dare I say it, we're going to be a little bit more sensible about this one. I've sealed up the hole in the wall. Everybody has high power charge weaponry. Not really armor, but they have the weaponry. Then I also might have pulled our dragons out of storage. <laughs> <laughs> then Martinius will peek out his head and wake them up. Or horribly miss. How did you miss? Okay, that'll do it. That'll do it. That'll do it. Now, you run away. Well, I think that went to plan. Right, you fuckers. It's on now. <laughs> Chaos. Oh, they killed the ship. What, what, what are you doing? What the hell are you doing, you strange fox? Kill them. Oh, this is a this is a shit show. Where are you going? Hunting hair. Oh, achievement. I mean, that's what I... That's what I wanted. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Okay, I think at this point they're distracted enough we can probably send in the squad and tidy things up. Martinis is fine. Filthy Animal has already already fixed that. John, I was kind of hoping you'd put out the fire on his friggin' chainsaw. Oh, pepper him. Oh, look at the firepower we've got going on here. This is insane. Kill it, kill it. For God's sake, kill it. How does it take this long? Who could have possibly guessed that having this many super overpowered creatures would, uh... Would go in our favor whenever we had a raid, huh? We did it, everyone. We saved the heel route. Except for the fact it's now frigging winter and snowing. Caravan animals. Hello. Group of caribou. What have you got for me? Hello? Gear? Oh, <gasps> gold. Whoa, 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 whoa. Draconic ambrosia. Oh, look at that. The intended aging effects they want to still come into play. So I wonder how much ambrosia it takes to, to level up a dragon to the point where they become more powerful. That's, like I said, that was the difference between... Old Keith and New Keith, a bad day to be a caribou. Well, I can't imagine any day is a good day to be a, <laughs> to be a caribou. Well, as I was spending an hour and a half fixing my audio settings, it turns out in the background here, they have tamed a slurry peed, which is great news because that gives us enough points to call another Joris and be subsequently disappointed by whatever the hell comes out of the drop pod. Zoris Morph Queen, here we go. Whoa! It actually is. <laughs> Get the tagging rifle fast. This is the best day of my life. This is the best day of my life. And this is going to be the best day of Marge's life. <laughs> Carefully tags. Giant. Alien. Queen. E. E. 
It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Just run fast, Burger. It's not like you're wearing plate mail or anything. Keith. Keith, give us a hand. Keith. Well, I mean, Burger's strictly not wrong. Uh, Thomas, Laurie, and Bradford. You absolute fucker. <laughs> There's nothing left of him to bury. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. They're on it. Oh, I'm gutted by that. I didn't realize there was another bloody dragon down there. Oh, God. <laughs> There's something very, very special about when a remote colonist dies to the extent that they are just gone. Just straight up removed from reality. It was worth it. It was worth it. Burger laid down his life for his, what is she right now, Baroness Marge and future Queen of the Colony. This is a fucking showdown though, eh? I'm not sure. Oh, keeps getting in there. Keeps getting in. What a goddamn showdown we've got in our hands. How's the Zori? Oh, <laughs> it's only a turn against four dragons and two Terminator foxes. I, I, I mean, I've got no words. I've got no words. This is Marge. This is Marge. Six hours later, and the combat continues. I think Sideshow has been downed. 15 conditions need tending. Either that is fallen asleep from overexhaustion. In fact, the, the Kulin Cobalt definitely has. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Isn't there an achievement for... Kelosaurus Morph Queen, 50 points. That's two more Jorases. Ideally, I'd love to tame it. But I feel like it's not a gamble I want to take right now. I want to see it first. Turning... Uh, they're just leaving. You're just leaving. You're just leaving. Yeah, you're right. I'm too tired for this. Oh, you're leaving as well. Oh, they killed it. They killed it. No, no, no. They haven't. Finish it off. Finish it off. Finish it off. Marge, become the queen. Kill the queen to become the queen. That's how it works in the UK, at least. Done. The queen has been angle grinded. Oh, incredible work. Now, I wanted to see if Marge turning into the Xenomorph, uh, Joris, Zorus Morph Queen. Oh, God, my brain. I wanted to see if Marge turning into the Zorus Morph Queen would tick that off without having to try and tame one. Because this thing has already technically killed one of our people. New problem. Who's going to cook the food? Because Martinius is our best chef. Because of course he is. Uh, he's got a lot on his plate right now. No pun intended. Oh, my God. I know who can cook the meals. <laughs> Kill the queen. Become the queen. Oh my god, it's so, so good. This is the best day of my life. Today has really been one of the largest losses I think the colony has ever faced. The destruction of this geothermal, I just can't, I just can't get over it. It's been here for so long doing absolutely nothing. And, well, yeah, okay, I'm burger. I wish I could, oh my god, that's all we've got left of burger? I have an idea. I have an idea. We, we don't have anything to bury. So give me this at least. The Tomb of Burger. It will stand forever as a vigil to the only remains we've got left of him. <laughs> oh no, a grizzly bear is hunting Dr. Flang for food. Luckily, Keith's on the case. <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> Hello. There's a wog called Frank. <laughs> Guess we'll um I guess we'll tame Frank. I'm I'm gonna have to put Shark Tuber in a tank. Not only is it having having it around the base a horrible idea because it's a giant stinky slug, uh it also happens to be a brain damaged stinky slug that can't move under its own weight anymore. And the only place we've got for it is right next to a nuclear reactor. Which in hindsight is a horrible place to put animal beds. I'm gonna do this to save it from itself. Oh, do we have to give it a big bioreactor, really? Well, that's a waste. <laughs> I don't know why, but Martinez's rest is like... Is that 85%? It's 6am and he hasn't slept? I don't think he's got anything that should affect... Affect rest at all. Well, I mean, I know the more body parts you get, the less you need to. Uh, uh, bionics, that is weird. Okay. Yes! Kill the queen. Become the queen. <laughs> Ma just turned into a Zara Smorf queen. Uh, she also gave the title of Freeholder. Oh! So she's still allowed to keep her royal title. She just lost the title that she had. She's still married. Ex-husband is John the Cowman. What can she do? Can she still do all the work types? No, she actually can do very little. But she's also a noble. So, I mean, that's kind of part of the course, really. Wow, that's, um... 
Artinius. She can still deliver. She can't build, but she can deliver. That's another job for Martinius then, I guess. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> she can perform. <laughs> yeah, that's, um... That's really something. That's really something. The best part is... It absolutely counted to our zoo score. So I hope it should. There's no reason it shouldn't, right? Count towards our Joris experience. Oh, it doesn't count for that anyway, except for Joris Queen Void and Biblical. Okay, well, look, I've gone above and beyond. I think it's time. I think it's time we revert Methanius, because Methanius is constantly breaking down. And their sapiens, I assume, as a result, will, will, will drop pretty quickly because they can't do any recreation on account of them not having arms. So they're constantly breaking down, obviously naked as well. They can't wear clothes on account, once again, of being a moth. So we're going to make them human. We're going to make them human and see what they're actually capable of. And if they're terrible, I'll turn them back into a moth. <laughs> oh, there we go. Matthew Fowler. No, 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 no. I don't care what your human name was. You're always going to be Methanius to us. There we are. Methanius. Mining double passion when I need 5,000 gold. Undergrounder. Oh my god, I bet being a moth was just a horrible experience for you then. Ah, oh, there we go. Build complete by Nakia. Nice, so we've got everything we need now for our Terminator rabbit. Which goes nicely with our... <laughs> our polar bear xenomorph hybrid Marge Queen. Ah, oh, obtained 420 smoke leaf. Nice, I thought it would only be one harvest. Frank is hunting Dr. Flang. <laughs> Even that alone is just nonsense. <laughs> Shit, we might have a problem here. Are the kitsune worth a lot? Oh, that's a problem. Either, either way, I don't want them to die. Uh, market value of 38. What's the base value? 250. So they're not, they're not hyper valuable, but they are a member of our colony. Oh, God. Oh, God. Frank's up. Uh, that's really unfortunate. <sighs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Marge gently hugged Frank. And now Frank has joined us. What? My K Bob seed pods. Oh, oh, that was like oh we had another six hundred in storage. Well, fair enough. Uh yeah. Uh out with Dr. Flang in with Dr. Frank. It's fucking game. <laughs> this fucking game is a it's a mess. It's a mess. Dr. Frank. You kill a doctor, you become a doctor. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Dr. Flang. Maybe we should uh, maybe we should actually bury you. You're the first person who's actually had some bits left behind to bury. Good night, Dr. Flang. I'm so sorry it ended the way it did. There it is. Research all Neolithic technologies for 10 achievement points. Got 100 available. That's a lot of Joruses. I've queued up all the medieval texts. There are 31 of them. So we're gonna be here. We're gonna be here for quite a while, I think. Send them. Send them to me. Come on. Fresh Joruses. That's one right there. Kill the queen, become the queen. I'm sorry. They have to fight. John feigned inattention towards Queen Joris II. Did our Minotaur just neg the queen? 20% chance. He slapped the queen, but it did not work. What the fuck? <laughs> the sarcophagus is engraved with the depiction of a wag, brutally incapacitating a kitsune out of bleak necessity. A smuggler watches silently behind the focal point. Almost every shape in the image seems to be focused. Wow! You quite literally carved its death in an abyssal pearl sarcophagus. That's, um... <laughs> that's very high tier. Even though we've set the animal to high priority cooking, it's, uh, it's really not. And instead, it's only deep frying things. <laughs> Fucking fox. Everybody's gonna die of heart disease. I've taken it off of every other job. I'm gonna see if that's enough to try and encourage it to cook. Oh, no. If it can't cook, we're in a lot of trouble. Burger's death becomes less humorous and more tragic. Oh! John! Standing move, John. What are we going to do about this food situation? <sighs> Is anybody good at cooking? Martinius Catella? We could transform Dr. Frank into a human and see if Dr. Frank can cook. Marge is calming Rambo down. <laughs> That's not going to work. That's not going to work, Marge. Tala did just randomly gain the gastronomist trait. What does that do again? That makes them... Good plus four, artistic plus four, food poison chance minus 25%. But you're also our best plants person. I've outfitted you from actually plant work now. Um, 
Okay, first things first. Before we start training up someone to be good at plants, why don't we say always have one reverter in the stockpile, and then we'll do the same with the stabilizer too. Okay, here we go. There is another one down. Give me, give me a fresh Joris. First one was a zombie Joris. That is not what we need. It's obviously very unlikely we're going to get any unique Jorises at this point, given how many we've already got. And the third Joris is another Joris the Pooh. Damn it. We're at points again. Okay, Dr. Frank, let's go ahead and give you that reverter. See if we can get a cook out of it. I will admit, as far as RimWorld techniques go, as far as strategies for this game go, Taming a wog and then turning into a person is is a, is a very low tier way of trying to get a cook for the colony. <laughs> oh, Frank. Okay. Uh, Frank is still partially wog morph. Are you good at cooking? Yes, you are. Gourmand. Fun loving masochist brood. 11 cooking single passion. That couldn't have worked any more perfectly. Today, our luck has just been absolutely off the scale. We're never going to get this lucky again in Rimworld. Let's go ahead and get Katala fully upgraded next. And hopefully everybody had the flu, but they should all be good. How are you doing? Uh, 73%, 85% immunity. Yeah, do you want to go back to bed though? And hopefully this will give us enough achievement points for a couple more Jorises. So it was Bionic. Well, Bionic everything really. We've only got Bionic things here. So Spine. Install Bionic Spine left arm. Hmm. Install Bionic Spine right arm. No, no, no. That doesn't... Install Bionic leg left arm. Oh. Still Barnick Eye, right arm. Okay, Dan, so I don't know I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I've never seen this before and it wasn't doing this yesterday. Well I mean you know I gotta try it. <laughs> so spine, arms are in the right place, legs are in the right place, eyes are in the right place, and ears are in the right place. Was that everything we needed for the T eight hundred? Legs, arms, spine. Ears and eyes. Okay, we're good. Who wants to be the guinea pig? Mathanius, you volunteered. Spines. Spines everywhere. Oh my god, I think it just succeeded. I think it just succeeded. Oh no. Wow, that's frightening. 15% manipulation. Maybe that's why you can install it in the arms because it gives manipulation. No. No, no, this isn't right. No. <laughs> Red Nebula Dragon has laid purple dragon egg fertilized. Because we've got two bloody... I didn't even consider that. That's 10,000 big ones right there. Surely our surely our wealth now is, is pretty substantial. Only 750,000. Good lord. Oh, there it is. Hey, nice. I'm so glad that works with the uh, with the mod that we've got there. Fantastic. So that's another 50 points. That means another two Jorises. Another two Joris duplicates, no doubt. <gasps> Welcome, Moon and Star. Okay, now we have to be careful because this is one of the this is one of the high tier danger Jorises alongside Marge. Marge alone, and she looks like that is so fucking high tier. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to be incredibly careful with this one. I'm not kidding when I say this actually might be the most dangerous of all of them. The masked visage of Jagoth Gur drives anyone insane. Anyone coming close to him risks having a psychotic mental break. So I think the safest way to deal with uh, with Jagoth Gur might be... Take him out from a distance? Oh no, we're going to have to send John the Cowman in. But I worry about a Minotaur going nuts trying to tame this creature. So the chance of being able to tame that. So 10% chance on failure. Let me send Martinius in. I think Martinius still has the uh, higher tame chance because of the tamer's hand and the thrombo genes. Martinius, let's give it a go. Oh god, it already affected John. Wow. John came near Jagoth Gur while talking to himself about death's release. That's very appropriate. Uh, let's give it a go. So we get like one attempt before... Before it'll affect them. Oh wow, yeah, this is gonna be uh this is gonna be insane. We could just take it down throwing a bioreactor, but it won't count unless we tame it. Oh my god, it didn't even get a single tame attempt in there. Um, okay. Uh well, I, I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Can we stun it and I don't know, like pull out its psychic? part oh my god it's just keeping john and martini is constantly entranced i can't i can't do anything oh my god that's this is exactly why 
we have a central area for the high tier Jorises. Maybe with some turrets around or something like that. Uh, I'm kind of hoping... Uh, so I've, I've queued up a dart gun here. And I'm kind of hoping that the Kitsune will... Uh, sorry, the um, Kulan will craft a dart gun so that we can go and take the bloody thing out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, who's our best shot? Filthy animal? Uh, Rambo. Of course it'd be Rambo. Okay, let's oh, let's go at like maximum range. Well, maybe slightly within inside maximum range. I don't want to get too close to this bloody thing. Nice. Good hit. Good hit. Sedatives kicking in. Hopefully that'll be enough time to get Martinis and John out of there. Uh, I might even throw it into a bioreactor preemptively without taming it because I'll be honest with you. I don't even know how to go about this. I don't know what to do with it. Okay, it's down. Can we operate and like remove its... Uh, Minister Yeo, we could, we could get it just absolutely trashed. <laughs> Give it copious amounts of drugs. Oh, fucking mechanoids again. Right, hold on. Let's get you to a bioreactor first and foremost. Where did that land? Oh, it landed in the same area as before. Well, at least they didn't send us 15 centipedes this time. How have we got a weaker raid? Was, our last, was this our last one? Oh, I mean, to be fair... I mean, our colony wealth dropped a little bit. I'm not entirely sure why. And then and then increased again. This is where I put something in a bio vat or something like that. Okay. Okay, let's get you in this bioreactor then. The most dangerous Joris for the most dangerous area of the base. We've got to remember we have to tame that at some point though. Also transferring Jovid Bowie out to a different bioreactor that isn't the super high security ones. There we go. Right, we're good. Thank you, Rambo. I appreciate you saving John and Martinez from a life of permanent torment. Now that is big brain. I thought it's only going to count the base medieval technologies, right? The base game medieval technologies. And it turns out it absolutely does. So we've now got the Out of the Dark Ages achievement, despite the fact that we've still got a lot of other medieval technologies. But the only ones we've got remaining are modded technologies. Coincidentally, that gives us just enough for a new Joris. Oh, but Martinez is still broken down. John isn't. And if John has taken this long to not break down, Martinez is going to be out for a while as well. I suppose we can spawn one in, right? Probably couldn't hurt. What have you got for me? Joris Cargo Pod. Oh, is that a Joris Astley? I see. <laughs> oh, right on, right on time. Look at that. Hey, let's get you to... Uh, okay, you can eat your meal first. You have been wandering around starving to death for the past few days. Come on. He's never going to give us up. He's never going to let us down. Lock up that. Wait, wait whoa, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We only just unlocked royal apparel wait but that's base game for sure right royalty royalty is very much base game ah oh, maybe the achievements don't include royalty stuff so that you can play it without needing the royalty dlc alternatively the game could just be broken and a big tell of that is the fact that we've got <laughs> we've got methanius with spines for arms the game thinks that he's got five bionic spines uh when he's obviously only got three <laughs> which is still two more than he should have <laughs> so i'm gonna upgrade those to um advanced bionic spines uh then can we also give him the exoskeleton and the question is where else can we install the exoskeleton suit why is the fox doing surgery cobalt <laughs> uh you know what i trust you you seem fine. We did fail the surgery on his left arm, though. That's unfortunate. Now he's only got a regular spine in his arm rather than an advanced bionic spine in his arm. Oh, my God. You can install exoskeleton suits in the arms. And exoskeleton suits would be better than the bionic spines because the bionic spines only give what? Manipulation? 25% manipulation where the exoskeleton suits give 25-25. So John the Minotaur could get... Oh, this is ridiculous. We're going to slowly go through and upgrade all of the colony now with the spines and the exoskeletons only in the correct places. It's, it's you know, it is kind of funny to see them walking around with spine arms or <laughs> exoskeleton arms or whatever's happened. Methanius, I'm going to leave Methanius how Methanius is, and that's with three exoskeleton suits and an advanced spine uh, for a total of 202% moving and 194% manipulation, which is uh, pretty great, I think. Everyone else, though, I'm going to make sure that their implants go in the right place just in case it breaks anything. Obviously, I'm making sure that Queen Marge has the uh, has the upgrades as well. Oh, the fox is doing surgery. We're okay. Is the fox good at surgery? Because I don't mind if you're okay. Oh. Oh, yeah, no, that's... No, 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 no. It's Cobalt. Cobalt, Cobalt. Don't do that. Sorsh is fine to do it. Cobalt, maybe not so much. Oh, Stegobert. Oh, God, that was dangerous. 
<laughs> Marge is ready for her close-up. There we go. And then the other thing I've got Martini is doing is making some arms for himself. We'll try and make it for everybody. And two stone skin glands. One for John, as suggested by the comment section yesterday, because, of course, he can't wear armor anymore. So that would be a massive defensive bonus for him. And I'm also one for Marge as well. Look, the the previous Zorus Morph Queen, of course, we sampled to basically crossbreed with Marge there. That, that took uh, four dragons and two magic foxes to bring down. So Marge is already going to be extremely powerful. I think her genetics too. Oh no, she's got low health, but she's got 100% speed, which is frightening. She'll have the exoskeleton suit in the bionic spine. We'll also throw the tusk skin gland on top or, or the stone skin gland on top as well. So she is going to be pretty much just unkillable at that point. I wonder if we can give her a shield belt as well. Overall, I'm fairly content with the madness that's happened today, so I think we'll probably leave it there. We've managed to tame a, a good amount of uh, of Joruses as well, a, a couple of fresh ones there, and of course we've got Jagoth Ur, Jagoth Gur, ready to be tamed in the bioreactor when I can figure out a way to do it. I don't know how we're going to get anybody even remotely close. We might just have to trap him in like a tiny little box with the food there. Ready so someone can rush in, grab the food, and start taming pretty much immediately. We might be able to tame it so that we're next to them ready for when they wake up. They wake up, immediately start taming. Either way, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a balancing act. So if anybody has any suggestions on how to adequately make Jagoth Gur ours, I'm all ears. But we will be leaving it there for today while I try and figure out what's going on with our limbs. Not that I'm gonna remove it or change it or patch it or fix it or anything. I just like to know exactly why I can give people spine arms. Thank you in the meantime to those who give me spine arms, the executive producer patrons, without which I wouldn't be able to work uh, and, and make all these many videos for you. Thank you to Andrew the to Garen, Kish, Udrik, Bubka, Ah, 9471, <laughs> Slickback, Echo Cakes, Cakebit Array, Dante Mordekane, Londart, Dunker, My Name Isn't Dio, Biv, Asana Kurato, and Major Mythical for their support, the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Big thank you to you guys for making the channel possible in the first place. And a thank you as well to Avolka, Adam S, Logical Builder, K Shop, Rubicon, Francesco R, Redeemer, 50288, Marcus Absent, Red Noah, Wifty, Captain Kuba, Hadgim, Lady Cerulean, Quagasol, and J1293.